In this video, we'll talk about the sweep tool. And this is one of the very interesting tools in Fusion 360. Now for the sweep tool, I'll be using this drawing. And here we have this extruded feature. Now we'll make another small feature on a perpendicular plane of this extruded profile. And for that, I'm going to go to create sketch. And from these two planes, these two are the perpendicular planes of this profile. I'll select any one of these, maybe this one. And now we'll make a simple circle. So I'll type C and I'm going to zoom into this area and I'll make a circle at the boundary here. And I'll make it maybe of size 4 mm. And that's it. Now that's our circle. Now using this circle as a reference, we'll make another solid along this path. And for that, I'm going to select sweep tool. So on the create panel, we have sweep tool right here. Now in the type option, I'll make sure single path is selected, the default option. And in the profile, I'll select the circle, which we just now made. In the path option, I'll select this edge or this boundary here, the boundary in the top, which is passing through the center of the circle. So I'll just select here and look at this. Now we'll get this kind of profile. In this case, it is red in shape. Well, that's because it's making a cut from this drawing, but that's not what we want. We want to make another object. So I'll go to operation and I'll change it to join or new body. In this case, let's select join. Now, once again, we have chain selection option selected here, and that is why selecting one object of the path selected the entire object as they are all tangent to one another. Also, here we have two different arrows, and these arrows will control the extent of this sweep. In this case, the sweep is extended completely along the path, and that's because in both the distances, the proper value is added. In the distance one, we have one unit, which is actually a fraction of the total path. And you can change it just by moving it here. So look at this, as I'm moving it along this path, this value is increasing. And this will just keep on increasing till you reach back to the starting point. So we are now halfway to that point almost halfway and the distance is 0.5 approximately. So this is actually a fractional value of this entire path length. The distance two is obviously zero and that's because there was no extension along this side, but you can now add it as well here. And you can type 0.5 here and 0.5 here to extend them on both the sides and they'll meet here halfway across the path. But in this case, I'll just change this value to one and this one to zero, the defaults, and we'll end up with this path. Now we have a taper angle and twist angle. Let's talk about this later on. For now, I'll click on OK. And here is the sweep profile. Now let's make another drawing. And once again, I'll go to sketch. And this time, I'll select polygon. And I'll select circumscribed polygon. Again, we need to select a perpendicular plane and this one is perfect for this case, so this one. And now in this case, I'll make this object here. So I'll just click here approximately at this point and now maybe with five sides. Yep, five sides is good. So five sides, I'm gonna make a polygon of maybe this size, just like this. All right, and stop sketch. So we ended up with this drawing and now let's just turn it to this side. And again, we'll make the sweep profile. So I'll go to create and sweep. And again, I'm going to select this one for the profile. And in case of path, I'm going to select this path. And you know what will happen in this case. Also, you'll end up with the similar kind of results. But now in this case, we'll talk about a few extra features. Before that, let's just change the operation to join so that we have this kind of shape. Now, in this case, if you look closely here, you'll find that this object is making a completely parallel kind of shape. This line, the line along this polygon is always parallel to this plane here. Let me just zoom in. And I'm talking about 
this profile and this profile this is completely parallel everywhere but now we'll change that using twist angle so here we have a twist angle option I'm gonna add a twist angle value of 360 degrees and look at this now look at this and in this case it's no longer parallel it's in a way intersecting here now it's going inside and then it will just come out right here so what is happening in this case if you zoom out enough and if you look at this drawing you'll find that this object is twisting to 360 degrees now I'll exaggerate this thing a little bit further so I'm gonna add a higher value of twist angle maybe 720 and I think I need to add even bigger value here so maybe 1440 and just notice here that I'm using multiples of 360 degrees here to avoid any kind of error so I've got 1440 degree as the twist angle and now you can clearly see the twist angle here so it is twisting this object along an angle of 140 degree so this is starting from here and then it's moving along the path and by the time it returns back to this place it has already made a complete twist angle of 1440 degrees so that's the twist angle and you can make these kind of interesting shapes using the twist angle option here so now I'm gonna click on OK and that's our sweep object now let's talk about another situation here now in this case we have three different profiles we have this first profile which is the first sketch here I'm gonna select this one and I'll select edit sketch so this is the very first profile which I created alright and this was created on YZ plane as you can see here it was created on YZ plane alright now I'll go to stop sketch now the second sketch is this sketch which is again created on YZ plane right above this one alright and the final sketch which is this ellipse was created on a plane perpendicular to both of them so I'm gonna go to this one and I'll select edit sketch and it was created on X Y plane and this is what we have here the ellipse shape so I've made this ellipse like this the center of the ellipse is on this point right here the ending point of the very first profile here so we have three different profiles the first one the second one and third one and now using these three profiles I'll make a door handle using sweep feature so let's go to create and sweep now in the previous case we selected single path option and we made our drawings using single path but now we'll change it to path plus guide rail now you can select the profile path as well as a guide rail and the guide rail will actually decide the type of shape which your object will take so let's start with profile and just like the previous case where we made a profile using circle and then with a pentagon in this case we have made our profile using this ellipse so I'm gonna select the ellipse now for the path well I'm gonna select this sketch in the previous case our path was a flower kind of shape from 3d object but in this case we are not selecting the 3d edge instead we are using the sketch the 2d sketch so this is the path and finally we'll select a guide rail and the guide rail is right here so I'm gonna select the guide rail and we'll end up with this so what is happening here let's just orbit this this is the interesting shape which we caught and we're getting this door handle kind of shape simply by using the sweep tool and three profiles so this ellipse is now sweeping across this path and it is following this path and the guide rail is the one which we selected here so this guide rail is actually deciding the kind of shape which we are getting here and the path will actually decide the flow of this 3d object now in this case look at this part here here 
Fusion is able to create sweep only up to this point and that's because we have in the extent option perpendicular to bath selected. So that's why it's only able to make this shape up to the point where it remains perpendicular to the path. But we want to extend it on up to this point and if you want to do that then you need to select the second option full extends. And now it will make sure that your object extends up to the guide rail, the final point of the guide rail and you'll end up with the true handle shape that you needed. Because we want to keep these two points flat so that we can just fix it on the door. And that's the sweep tool. So I'm going to click on OK. And here is the 3D solid created using sweep tool. 